the formidable robot. The following is a collection documentation of media related to the now deleted troll group, known as the Farquads. Any and all posts will be kept intact to properly archive the various threads, actions and comments related to said group. In September of 2006, a relatively obscure video sharing website, known as Zumo, would be released as a failed competitor to YouTube. The site itself acted much in the same way as YouTube, though with more limited features compared to the latter, could only post a total of two videos per week, slower upload speed, etc. While the site itself would enjoy a niche following since its release, it would become infamous primarily for one group in particular. The Farquads. For those unaware, the Farquads were a collection of users dedicated to trolling various users on the platform, usually either very young creators or those considered unwatchable to the aforementioned group. The group is referred to as the Farquads due to many of the group's members having profile pictures depicting the character Lord Farquad from the DreamWorks film Shrek, often with edits done to the character depending on the user's preference. The group themselves would become infamous for their various attempts to troll these users, often utilizing methods such as harassment or doxing, to name a few. The following events are the only known and archived instances of the various events the group would participate in and will be shared here. Lucas Last Name One was a user that first appeared sometime around late 2011, sometime before the creation of the Farquads. It wasn't until two years later that he would become the first victim of the group, primarily for his often odd comments or, for lack of a better word, bizarre videos that often made very little sense or were filled with nonsensical rants directed at random users. The videos themselves appeared to have been made in MS Paint and had used Windows Movie Maker for various edits. The Farquads would respond by making parodies of these videos, directed more to Lucas rather than the random users on the platform. Lucas would respond to the group with the same mob comments and rant videos now at various members of the Farquads. Following the arrest of Lucas due to aggravated assault, the user's channel would become seemingly inactive, causing the Farquads to pay tribute to Lucas, i.e. create videos often mocking Lucas's arrest or his odd behavior online. Bonnie Bunny 300 was a user that began sometime around 2014 to 2015, during the initial popularity of the video game series Five Nights at Freddy's. Bonnie themselves would, as the name suggested, roleplay as Bonnie the Bunny, often acting as the titular character when commenting or participating in videos. The group would eventually discover the account, and release a video mocking the user. The video itself became lost, though reported mentions described it as having crude artworks taken from Bonnie Bunny's account, though edited with various Farquad and Shrek paraphernalia to mock said user. While the video itself became lost, a short five and a half second audio segment has been recovered, which depicts a text-to-speech voice repeating the phrase, Bonnie Bunny sucks donkey dick, continuously while an instrumental of the song, Hell on Earth, plays in the background. Bonnie Bunny sucks top beat it Bonnie Bunny sucks top beat it Bonnie Bunny sucks top beat it The user in question would delete their account shortly after the release of the video. While many of these events are somewhat normal for the group, one event would be, different to say the least and would be the main cause for the Farquads disbanding altogether. House Party MP4 this video file in question was included in a private message sent to Dave Quad, the leader of the Farquads in late 2016. At first, those within the group suspected that the message was from a random user or other users within the group. However, to their confusion, the message appeared to come from the Lucas last name one account, despite Lucas themselves being in prison at the time. The message itself was much longer, as it only contained both the video file, and one message, play, with a nosy smiley face. After some debate, one of the members, XX Quad XX, decided to watch the video. The following is a description of the video in question, provided by Quad, name in all capital letters, themselves. The video starts with a shot of a person's living room. The quality is poor and appears to have originated from either a VHS recording or something similar. White text then appears in the center, reading, you know what you did, before cutting to the outside of a house. 
The recording appears to show the inside of a bedroom, with someone typing on a computer. The person appears to be in their late twenties, with a Nirvana t-shirt and baggy pants. As the recording continues to film the person, more white text appears. You cannot hide. The scene then cuts to the same person jogging through a park, with the person recording hiding behind a large bush. You don't know me, but I certainly know you. The scene cuts to a phone on top of a table, with the receiver facing the camera. The phone is also covered with various scraps of paper, each with a different set of crossed off phone numbers on them. The normal ambience of the video is now replaced by a loud distorted dial tone. More text appears. You ruined my life. The scene quickly cuts to the same view of the house from before, though now at night. The sounds of chirping crickets can be heard in the background, as the scene focuses on the person now presumably sleeping in their bed. Before the scene cuts, the camera pans down, revealing the person recording to be wearing a black hoodie with black pants. In their right hand, they are holding a silver revolver. More white text appears. Now I ruin yours. The video then cuts to black for a few seconds, before cutting back to an image of an abandoned house, with a television displaying a gravestone, reading, Lucas, 2011-2015, there is nothing left for me, before the video ends. On the top left, there appeared to be a shadowy figure peering in through the window, possibly representing something with the original person. The video was quickly shared with the rest of the members, with quad, in caps, expressing confusion over the possible meaning of the video. Suddenly, Dave Quad went offline without explanation or reason, before leaving a message that the entire Far Quads group was officially over and that he was done trolling. Everyone in the group was confused at this, mostly since it seemed out of character for Dave Quad at the time. Due to dwindling user base on Zumo, as well as the group growing tired of trolling, the group officially disbanded and most of the content on Zumo made by the group was completely wiped following the closure of the site. When asking about the video to Dave Quad years after the incident, he explained why he officially left the Far Quads. When I saw that video, I recognized something in it that no one picked up on. Whoever that person was behind Lucas's account somehow found my old home address. I don't know how they found me, or somehow got access into the Lucas last name one account, but I wasn't having any of that. I moved out of that damn house as soon as I could. To this day, that is one of the most terrifying things I've experienced. I'm fairly lucky that I'm still alive right now. Maybe the dude chickened out, maybe he forgot, but I am so glad that I never had to go through whatever that was ever again. Thank you so much Windows 11.